Hey everybody, in this video, we are building a tree house. We've got a lot of land behind our house. We're gonna make something fun with it. So let's get going. Here's a close-up of our kids' treehouse design. We've got two natural trees here, four posts. The rim joists are going to be two by eight. The floor joists are going to be two by six. There's our ladder over there. This treehouse, it's eight feet tall, so we're gonna go with 40 inches on the rail. They recommend a minimum of 36, but since it's really tall, we're gonna go higher. And then 36 inches above that for the kind of a decorative roof portion. This tree house is roughly six feet squared. Now let's take a look at our site plan over here. So here we've got uh, a trail. We're gonna have a few steps that meander up to and a little mini trail here that goes along. Uh, our ladder will have some rocks below to minimize any wood rot. All right, we gotta go into the forest. We gotta find a couple of trees to make our posts. So in we go, you ready? Yeah. All right, so this is the tree we're gonna cut down. Jet's climbing it. He's gonna tie a rope up there so we can pull to make sure that the tree falls one direction. We do not want that tree to fall this way towards my house and this way towards all of our nice branches that are gonna be part of the tree house. So, yeah, I can't do it. so we need to go that way. Okay, plan B, I'm gonna climb the tree. <laughs> Jet's gonna record the video. have our hinge and a place to run. It's just gonna be through that way. Here we go. Here we go. Timber! Hi. Are you ready? Yep. Pull, Jet. Oh, it's coming! Let's go! Oh, it's coming. Oh, there goes the mark for our tree house. Here we go, y'all. The tree is down. There's probably better ways to do that, but it's so thick that trees don't fall when they're that small. All right. So now we just got to cut all the branches off to get our log. Jess going to use the handsaw. I'm going to grab the chainsaw and we're going to tag team this one. Okay, so that's one branch. We have 40 more to go. So we've had some progress. We got one pole up. I absolutely underestimated the amount of work involved. What's really cool is if you're looking right now, there's actually a bunch of trees. You don't see it. This tree right here is actually our pole. See that pole? It's 20 feet high. So I was just hoping that it didn't ever look like a cut tree. You can see the top cut up there, but it's, it's a very tall pole. And I've got four ropes that tie it together. So here's one here. Can't really see them that well. Another one over here and another one over here and then one on the other side. And what that does is it allows me to level this thing. I just tighten one rope at a time until I've got it nice and vertical like I want it. All right, we got the beam sitting here. So now all we just gotta do is bolt it in. And then over here on the board, we've got two inches down. There's gonna be three and a half in the middle and another two inches down. So that's where our two bolts will go. One, two, three, go. Yeah. 
These are galvanized and black powder coated, so they're pretty serious. Two times stronger than galvanized, you mean. <laughs> wow, Jeb, that's pretty impressive that you actually know that. Yeah. Yes, that's right. So we got some super heavy duty bolts here. Now we're gonna lift this board up and it's going right into that hole. Right now, guess what's holding the other side? Just a, a branch. branch. Yep. Whoops. Maybe I shouldn't do a deep socket. I can go get a, a regular 916. We'll do that for the next one. And we don't want it too tight because we have to be able to level it and move it around. But there you go. One bolt done. All right, next up, we've got to get our second bolt in. And that's going to be done by Mr. Jet right there. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> here you go. Here's your, here's your ratchet. Now hang tight. Y'all see this level right here? Make sure that's level, and I've already drilled the hole, so it should uh, right there. Okay, go ahead, Jet. Get the cranking. Is that about it? You buy hits or max? Yep. All right. I think that's pretty good. Yep. Way to go, Jet. Jed, how you feeling? I feel good. Feeling good. Jed is gonna place the first deck board on top of the tree house. Oh, you got this, buddy. So there's all kinds of tricks to transcribe and paper worked out pretty good. So now I'm just gonna put that on my board here. I'll get that paper out of the way. Put this on my board here. And I'm basically cutting that out. And that's how it's done. All right, y'all. Board number one is cut. That's what it's gonna look like. I think that's pretty reasonable. All right, this is the fun part. And we're gonna have to sink it. You ready? Oh. All right, right now we're working on the handrails. How in the world do you get those installed? Okay. All right, so I've got these very special structural screws. These are four and a half inches long. They're exterior based. There you go. Looks like that, right? I tied the bar in place. Uh, a lot of leg work here. I got a little notching going on. And, um, and I want to show right here. And there's a hole right there. So we're just gonna put the screw in there. And then finally, we're just screwing it in. Are you ready? There we go. We've gotta collect all of the balusters. This is what it looks like. You have to have a lot of them. So 
Uh, I'm actually a fan of this one right here. Nice, tall, and skinny. And we're just going through, cutting everything off so we can get it prepped for a lot of balusters to be installed. All right, y'all, with logging, it's a lot of extra work. I've got all my balusters just for the front. We have two more sides to go after this. But you know, when you buy wood, you can just start putting it together and cutting to the size you want. When you're logging, you gotta go collect it all, trim it all, clean it up, get your sizes, then get out there. So here we go. All right, it's time to get our first baluster in. Every baluster is going to be four inches. That way it's got a little bit more safety involved. And also I am using flat top screws here. I think they're gonna hold a little bit better. And then we'll get the bottom one in, measure a little bit, and then that's our first one. All right, I'm very excited because I got one railing and baluster set done. Uh, yes, I need to remove the rope, but I need to get a bolt into here first, a bolt there and one more down at the bottom to finish that, but I'll leave the rope on there for a little bit now. Uh, but yeah, what do y'all think? We got baluster hall number two. So we've got our front rail in place. We have prepped all of the balusters. Wow, that's a lot. And we just gotta quickly get it up here. So, hey, one, two, three. And just like that, the rails are done. All right, got the shorty wall. And on this side, got a longer one. All right, I'm so excited to have that done. That took a while, but we got it in place. I need to get our, our floor fixed here. Uh, I ran out of wood, so that right there is just a little temporary spacer. I prioritize the edge wall and I'll find some others and cut it in there. Anybody who's noticing at this point, we are not square, but you know what I have to say about that? It's a tree house and I think it's okay. <laughs> so we're not building walls and all of that and uh, it's for fun. It'll have an odd shape. And the rails, they are absolutely, I got all kinds of cool, funky wood. Very dense. I have no idea what kind of wood it is, but it is very hard compared to the pine. So, feel good about that one. So the tree house is in a good place. We need to build the ladder for it. And one of my challenges is the area that the ladder is gonna go is really slanted and angled. So I need to kind of get a nice, reasonable flat spot here so I can begin to get the ladder going up. So I've got a few materials here. I cut some of my own stakes right there. We're gonna install some stakes and a flat board. This was in the dumpster. And that we're gonna create like a little mini retaining wall, but very mini. And then we'll also shave down on this side. We've got two stakes driven in now. And we've just gotta kinda level this out a little bit and uh, get that a little bit flatter so you can actually walk right here. That's the plan. Our posts for the ladder, one and two. Got those, we're gonna, we're gonna get some screws put into there and uh, I need to cut this in a little bit more but we'll do that after. All right, I just wanna show you all of the leveling work that I have done. I think we need some more natural leaves and mulch to uh, pine straw to fall because uh, it looks a little bit rough right now, but in time that will look better. But yeah, nice and nice and flat. The kids will easily be able to walk through here, come up the ladder and then onto the platform. Okay, so we've got to get our first ladder rung in. It's going to look like this. We're going to go with every 12 inches. But so we're not relying just on the bolts to hold it, I want to notch them in a little bit. I've already made the marks here. So we kind of need to do like, a, like the shape of this log. We're going to use the chainsaw and hope for the best. Okay, that is awesome right there. Do you see it?
we now have our ladder rungs. Is that what they're called? Rungs? All right. All right, so I've got these marked out. It's every 11 and a half inches. It was just the number that worked out perfect. So our top rung ladder step is lands right at the top. 12 is the right number, but kids have shorter legs. So we're gonna go with that. All right, we just gotta notch each one of them out. Arms are getting tired. Good Lord, all right. He's body here, you ready? One. All right, hand me the camera. I'll let you do the honors. Yeah. All right, Jet's using the ladder for the first time. Is it sturdy? Does it feel comfortable? Yes. A little carving here to make this a little less sharp for the kiddos. We could probably do this with sandpaper too. Oh. Also, do the same right here. All right, y'all, I don't know who our log crew is. I mean, look at the work here, y'all. It's so, they got pieces sticking out. Like seriously, we need, we need a new log crew. Next up, we need some hasty stairs because the little girl's having the hardest time getting up to steep hill. So we're gonna keep it real low tech. Uh, I did not dig much here, but I've got these end pieces, right? These came off of the deck boards. We're gonna put the board in there, stake it in, and then backfill. So we'll backfill down from the top side and uh, kind of create a little bit more of a transition to get from here and into the ladder area. So we've got our free leaves and pine straw and mulch. You could go to the store and buy it, but this stuff's free. So we're keeping the budget low. Stay in green, y'all. Here we go. All right, y'all, the secret tree house is finally finished. Let's go take a look.
All right, so we came in right at $160. That's for all the treated lumber, the deck boards, the screws. I'll put a material list and the plans in the description. So take a look there if you're feeling a little bit adventurous and you wanna do something similar. We had a blast building this treehouse. If you like these kind of videos, like and subscribe because we have a lot more projects coming up. We'll see you next time.